Superman the Movie, released in 1978, is a cinematic adaptation of the DC Comics character. Scripted by Mario Puzo, this foundational entry in the Superman film series was helmed by Richard Donner. The film boasts a stellar cast, including Marlon Brando, Gene Hackman, Christopher Reeve, and Margaret Kidder, and chronicles Superman's origins from his early days on Krypton to his formative years in Smallville. Under the guise of reporter Clark Kent in Metropolis, he leads a subdued life, develops a romantic connection with Lois Lane, and confronts the malevolent Lex Luthor. The 1978 film Superman presents the story of Superman's beginnings, detailing his extraterrestrial birth, his journey to Earth, and his adoption by a couple in Smallville, Kansas. The narrative follows his growth into adulthood and his move to Metropolis, where he assumes the alter ego of Clark Kent, a reporter for the Daily Planet. In Metropolis, he encounters and falls in love with his colleague Lois Lane. While navigating his dual identity and his feelings for Lois, Superman confronts the criminal genius Lex Luthor, who poses a grave threat to the world. The film explores Superman's efforts to thwart Luthor's destructive plans, showcasing his extraordinary abilities and his commitment to protecting humanity. To prepare for the role of Superman, Christopher Reeve dedicated himself to an extensive bodybuilding program. This transformation was essential to embody the physicality of the Man of Steel, a character known for his extraordinary strength and heroic physique. Under the guidance of David Prowse, whose own portrayal of physical power as Darth Vader was widely recognized, Reeve worked tirelessly to build the muscle mass necessary for the part. His commitment to the role was evident in the results. He not only gained the muscular definition required, but also the confidence to portray the iconic superhero convincingly. The training was not just about aesthetics, it was about bringing to life a character that had become a cultural symbol of heroism and strength. Reeve's dedication to his physical preparation played a significant role in the authenticity of his performance, contributing to the film's success and the lasting popularity of his portrayal of Superman. During the production of the 1978 film Superman, Marlon Brando, who portrayed Jor-El, father of Superman, made a notable proposal that reflected his approach to work. He suggested that the filmmakers should capture his performance during rehearsals instead of traditional filming sessions. This idea was rooted in his desire to minimize his time on set, which was consistent with his reputation for seeking ways to streamline his involvement in film projects. Brando's proposal was indicative of his status as an actor who often presented unconventional methods and ideas sometimes leading to the perception of him being challenging to collaborate with. His approach to the role of Jor-El was no exception, as he sought to deliver his performance in a manner that was efficient for him, while still contributing to the legacy of the iconic character he was bringing to life on screen. In the production of the 1978 film Superman, Gene Hackman, who portrayed the villain Lex Luthor, initially presented a challenge to the filmmakers with his refusal to shave his mustache for the role. The character of Lex Luthor, traditionally clean-shaven in the comics, required a certain look that Hackman's mustache did not fit. Director Richard Donner, determined to have Hackman look the part, resorted to a clever ruse. Donner appeared on set with a mustache of his own, only to reveal it was fake, and promptly removed it. This act of solidarity and humor persuaded Hackman to agree to shave his mustache, thus aligning his appearance with the iconic supervillains and maintaining the visual continuity of the character as known to the fans. This incident is a testament to the collaborative spirit and creative problem solving that often occurs behind the scenes in filmmaking. In the 1978 film Superman, a significant behind the scenes decision was made concerning the portrayal of Clark Kent as a young man. Christopher Reeve, who played the adult version of Superman, also provided the voice for the character during his younger years. This decision was taken to maintain continuity in the character's vocal presence throughout the film. As a result, Jeff East, who acted in the role of young Clark Kent, had his voice entirely replaced by Reeves in post-production. This ensured that the audience would only hear Reeves' voice, creating a seamless transition as Clark Kent grows up and becomes Superman. The choice to dub over East dialogue underscores the attention to detail that the filmmakers paid to character consistency in the movie. In 1978, the movie Superman was in production during an event that would challenge the resilience of New York City. 
On July 13, 1977, the city experienced a widespread electrical blackout that lasted for 25 hours, leading to looting and disorder. Amidst this chaos, the Superman film crew became an unexpected beacon of support. The production had been using generators to power their set, and when the blackout occurred, they offered these generators to the New York Daily News. This act of assistance allowed the newspaper to continue its operations and publish during the blackout, providing the public with crucial information at a time when the city was plunged into darkness. The gesture by the Superman team highlighted the spirit of cooperation and community support, reflecting the very ideals that the superhero himself stood for. In the 1978 film Superman, the helicopter scene is a pivotal moment that showcases the hero's abilities and sets the tone for his character. The scene begins with Lois Lane boarding a helicopter on the rooftop of the Daily Planet building. Suddenly, a mechanical failure causes the helicopter to malfunction. As it teeters dangerously on the edge of the roof, Lois falls out, screaming for help. At that exact moment, Clark Kent, sensing the danger, transforms into Superman. He soars upwards, catching Lois in mid-air, which already had the audience on the edge of their seats. But the scene does not end there. The helicopter itself begins to fall, threatening the lives of the people below. Superman then makes a dramatic second rescue, catching the helicopter with one hand while holding Lois with the other. This enhancement of the helicopter rescue scene, with both Lois and the helicopter falling, amplifies the dramatic impact and effectively demonstrates Superman's extraordinary powers and his commitment to saving lives. It is a scene that remains etched in the memories of viewers, symbolizing the thrilling and heroic essence of the character. Christopher Reeve brought a sense of authenticity to the role of Superman with his ability to simulate flight. His background as a glider pilot was instrumental in achieving this. The skills he acquired from flying gliders allowed him to understand the mechanics and physicality of aerial movement. This experience translated into the film where his portrayal of Superman's flight was not just a visual effect, but an actor's understanding of motion and gravity lending a natural and convincing quality to the flight scenes. Reeve's performance was crucial in making the audience believe that a man could fly, grounding the fantastical element of Superman's character with a touch of realism. His dedication to the role and to embodying the physicality of flight contributed significantly to the film's success and the lasting appeal of his portrayal of the iconic superhero. In the 1978 film Superman, the casting of Christopher Reeve as the titular character was a pivotal moment in the movie's production. Initially, there were doubts about his suitability for the role due to his young age and slim physique. However, Reeve's performance in the screen test was so convincing that it dispelled any concerns. His portrayal of both Superman and his alter ego Clark Kent was seen as embodying the essence of the character. To prepare for the role, Reeve underwent an extensive physical training regimen. This program was designed to help him build the muscular physique necessary to convincingly play the part of the iconic superhero. The training not only transformed his body, but also helped Reeve develop the commanding presence needed to portray the Man of Steel. This dedication to the role contributed significantly to the film's success and Reeve's lasting legacy as Superman. In the 1978 film Superman, directed by Richard Donner, a subtle yet significant detail pays homage to George Reeves, who portrayed Superman in the 1950s television series. The costume design for Jor-El, played by Marlon Brando, includes an S logo on his cloak. This design choice was intentional and mirrors the S logo found on George Reeves' costume. It serves as a respectful nod to the actor who was one of the first to bring the iconic superhero to life on the small screen. This tribute reflects the film's acknowledgement of its roots and the legacy of those who shaped the character's early portrayal. The homage is woven into the fabric of the film, both literally and figuratively connecting the past and present of Superman's cinematic journey. In the 1978 film Superman, the visual representation of Kryptonian culture was crucial in distinguishing it from human civilization. The filmmakers decided to give the Kryptonians a unique aesthetic, particularly through their clothing. To create a sense of otherworldliness and advanced technology, the wardrobe team developed a method to make the costumes appear to emit light. This was achieved by meticulously attaching thousands of small reflective glass beads onto the fabric of the costumes. The beads captured and reflected the light, giving the garments a subtle luminescence that suggested a sophisticated, energy-based technology beyond human capabilities. 
The process was delicate and time consuming with each bead sewn by hand to ensure the desired effect was consistent across the garments. The result was a striking visual element that helped to set the tone for Krypton and its inhabitants making their appearance distinct and memorable. The glowing costumes became a key visual element in the film, contributing to the overall futuristic and high-tech atmosphere of Krypton. This attention to detail and costume design helped to immerse the audience in the world of Superman, making the Kryptonian characters stand out with an ethereal quality that underscored their alien nature. In the 1978 film Superman, directed by Richard Donner, there is a distinctive moment at the end of the movie where Superman engages directly with the audience. This technique, known as breaking the fourth wall, is a deliberate artistic choice that connects the viewers to the narrative in a unique way. It serves as a subtle homage to Donner's earlier work on The Omen, where a similar narrative device is employed by the character Damien. This connection between the two films through the use of the fourth wall break adds a layer of depth to the cinematic experience, inviting the audience to be more than just passive observers. The inclusion of this element in Superman is a testament to Donner's directorial style and his ability to create a memorable and engaging film experience. In the 1978 film Superman, the casting process for Lois Lane was a pivotal moment that demonstrated the significance of selecting the right actor for a character. Margaret Kidder emerged as the favored choice among several candidates due to her humorous take on Lois Lane. This decision underscored the necessity of an actor's chemistry with their co-stars and a deep comprehension of the character they are portraying. Kidder's portrayal brought a balance of wit and seriousness to the role, aligning with the film's tone and contributing to its success. Her performance was well received and she became closely associated with the character, setting a standard for future interpretations of Lois Lane. Margaret Kidder, who rose to fame for her role as Lois Lane in the 1978 film Superman, faced significant challenges in her later life. Despite the success and recognition she gained from her portrayal of the intrepid reporter, Kidder's personal life was marked by struggles with mental health. Her condition often left her vulnerable to exploitation, particularly by individuals whom she had attempted to assist. This pattern of being taken advantage of by those she sought to help contributed to a decline in her well-being. Kidder's life, unfortunately, came to a sorrowful end, reflecting the harsh realities that can accompany a life in the spotlight, coupled with personal vulnerabilities. Her story serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of mental health awareness and the potential consequences of exploitation. Margaret Kidder, who portrayed Lois Lane in the 1978 film Superman, faced numerous challenges throughout her life, including struggles with mental health. Despite her professional success, Kidder's personal life was often fraught with difficulties. Her passing in May 2018 was a profound loss to the film community and her fans. The cause of death was determined to be a self-inflicted drug overdose, which was a sad reflection of the struggles she had endured. Kidder's portrayal of Lois Lane remains a significant part of her acting career, and she is remembered for bringing one of comic book's most beloved characters to life on the big screen. Margaret Kidder, who portrayed Lois Lane in the 1978 film Superman, left a significant mark on the series and its audience. After her passing, her ashes were scattered across Canada and Montana, two places she held close to her heart. This act symbolized the closure of her personal journey and highlighted the profound connection she had with the Superman series. Her portrayal of Lois Lane not only won the hearts of many fans, but also solidified her role in the enduring narrative of the Superman saga. The scattering of her ashes in these beloved locations served as a tribute to her life and work, ensuring that her presence would continue to be felt by those who admired her and the character she brought to life. Her contribution to the Superman legacy remains a poignant part of the series' history, remembered by fans and the film community alike. The 1978 Superman film, directed by Richard Donner, stands as a testament to the timeless appeal of superhero narratives. With a compelling plot that follows the journey of the titular character from his origins on the dying planet Krypton to his rise as a savior in Metropolis, the movie captured the hearts of audiences. The film's success is largely attributed to its pioneering visual effects, which brought Superman's powers to life in a way that had never been seen before, setting a new standard for the genre. Christopher Reeve's portrayal of Superman is particularly noteworthy. He brought a sense of humanity and relatability to the role embodying the character's strength and moral integrity. 
His performance is often cited as a defining one for the character and is a significant reason for the film's lasting popularity. The movie also benefited from the talents of an exceptional supporting cast, including Gene Hackman as the cunning Lex Luthor and Margaret Kidder as the intrepid reporter Lois Lane. Their performances, along with the film's innovative use of special effects, storytelling, and character development, ensure that Superman remains a cherished cinematic experience for generations of viewers.